Hey everyone, this is Rachel Mazza, and I want to talk really quickly today about what stories do to our brains and why they work on us in sales. So let's take an example from popular fiction. Let's look at Twilight or Fifty Shades of Grey, which is actually a fan fiction of Twilight if you didn't know. So that's great because if you don't have any original ideas, you can still make a million dollars, right? <laughs> Um, but Twilight is a fantastic story because the main character sucks so bad. And that is not a vampire pun. The main female character, Bella, is bland. She's, she's not interesting. She's not even particularly clever. She's not even that attractive according to the books. And no offense to the actress playing uh, the character in the movies, but she's not special at all. Which is great because um, then the people watching the movies are reading the book. If you're a young teenage girl who's really getting into the story, you can sit there and think, well, well, this, this girl, this character isn't interesting at all. I'm more fun to be around. I'm interesting to be around. <gasps> oh my God, Edward could love me, right? This could be me. And it allows you to put yourself in the story and make it personal and imagine what it could be like if this was you. And it works the same way with your product or your offer or what you're selling. A story helps people make it personal. It helps them imagine what their life would be like if they had this thing that you're selling. And instead of telling them about how great you are, or your company is, or your product is, you're helping them uh, uh, envision this, this, having this in their life. And so why does this work so well in sales? It's because stories make us emotional. They help put us in an emotional state. And if you can get someone into an emotional state, then they're gonna turn off that logic part of their brain that brings up objections and doubts and, and makes people hesitant to buy. So emotion is like an off switch to logic. So, I mean, just look at someone who's had, who's had a big fight with their, their husband or their girlfriend or their husband or, uh, or their wife. I mean, we've all been in this situation where you're saying things that you don't mean because you're so angry, but not only are you saying things you don't mean, but you're saying things that don't make any sense at all. Like, maybe you're talking about um, someone yells out like, you don't even know how you feel about eggplant, whether you like eggplant or not. If you can't commit to how you feel about eggplant, then how can you commit to me? I mean, it's completely illogical, but we say these crazy things when we're in emotional states because emotion turns off that, that logic switch in your brain, right? So we talked about how stories work uh, in our minds and why they work on us, but next week what I'd like to dive into is how you can use this in your funnel and specifically when you're targeting cold traffic, how you can use this in your sales. So until then, if you have any questions, then just connect with me on my website at rachelmanza.com. And if you want to learn more about this, then there's a cool opportunity coming up. Um, there's an event called Copy Chief Live. If you haven't heard of it, it's in October in Florida, and it's going to be some of the best sales funnel consultants and copywriters in the world all in one room talking about this stuff. And so there's a link on my blog where you can uh, book out your, your tickets and, and join us in Florida. And if you can't find that information, then just send me an email and I'll send it all over to you. But until then, let me know if you have any questions and I hope this helps.